Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Echo's Reloading Chamber. <clears throat> Today's topic, we're covering lower receiver vice blocks and the Wheeler Delta Series bench block, which incorporates a couple of things that we're going to be looking at today. The first on air is a lower receiver vice block um, and basically this does the LR308 which would be this side that's totally just square and then it will also do the AR10 which has this recess to it right here and basically so you can put one side in your vice and then the other side your lower receiver will go down onto and lock into and that's basically how this particular receiver vice block works and this is made out of nylon which is hard and doesn't flex very much um, this I've used on dozens if not 50 or 60 LR308s and a few AR10s with no problem. I got this at Brownells years ago. I believe they still have this particular one for sale. If not, I'm sure there's a company that makes one exactly like this. And um, it's a handy tool. Next, we have the AR-15 M16 version. This, however, is made out of Delron, which is a little softer material, flexes a little bit more, but I've had no problems with it. And basically, this works on your standard AR-15 M16 lower receiver in its magwell. And then you can also put it through the top so that basically if you have a receiver you can actually feed this down through the top of the magwell and work on the rifle and it will lock in there once you get it down in there but you can work on the rifle inverted in your vise or you can work on it standard by um simply putting it on and following the the line of angle with your magazine well and it locks in and that works inside of a uh, vice as well and pull this out all right that handles that now this is an interesting tool wheeler makes these and I, I, I got turned on to this by my friend Dead Horse. He's like, oh, you don't have one of these things? These things are a neat little thing to have. And basically, this allows you to um, do quite a few different things. First off, it allows you, if you didn't have pins in your receiver... When you're first getting started, it you know if you didn't have your uh, pivot pin in there, it allows you to line up the two open slots, the two nubs down into here and float it back on here for putting your bolt catch pin in. It also allows you to lay your receiver down in the actual. Um, let me see here. You got to line up the, uh, you'll, you'll feel it when it falls into this little trap. There it goes. There it goes. But it lets you drive out your pin for, um, your, uh, trigger guard. Um, however, I use a tool for that. I will show you guys what I use for removing and installing the, uh, trigger guard pin. Um, but this does that and if you flip it around, it will hold the upper receiver in a way, let me see here, that will hold the, um, let me get it down in there. 
It holds the um, forward assist at a spot where you can in, uh, drive in your um, forward assist uh, roll pin and holds the upper receiver down in there as you do it. So this gives you quite a few different things that this will do. And um, if you're getting started out and you want to limit your spending on tools, this is one that you can pick up that does a couple of different things and is reasonably priced around 35 bucks. Um, now this is the Magpul Bev Block. And you can turn this upside down, remove the pin, and lock this in your vise. And this becomes a lower receiver vise block and will hold a, uh, let me see. Yeah, it will hold a uh, upper or yeah, lower receiver onto it. And then you can cl close this in after you pop this pin out. It's not a real super snug fit, but it does work. So there is that. Um, but this is just a cover of what we're doing, what we're using for different things to give you guys an idea of what you need to spend money on if you're going to build your own gun, especially right now with uh, Biden trying to ban uh, the American public from building their own firearms at home, which is absolutely unconstitutional. So stand together with your brothers and sisters and inform your congressman that you will not put up with this and make sure you leave a comment on the ATF's comment form on their government website telling them that ATF is a federal law enforcement agency and they should not be dictating or writing laws. That's for Congress and the president to do, not for a police agency. Thank you, and you all have a great day.